Hey everybody, Scott Jansen here, and in today's video, guys, I'm gonna show you how to create a killer marketing message for your business, whether you're a coach, you're a hypnotherapist, RTT practitioner, NLP practitioner, a healer, or even an online business coach. It really doesn't matter the context that you put this into. Guys, I'm gonna show you how to create the ultimate marketing message that is not only gonna get eyeballs on your service, but help you bring in more paying clientele. So just before we jump into the actual content itself, if you're looking at growing your business, guys, if you're looking at taking your business to the next level, you're looking at trying to find your niche, know your prices, master your service, we are opening up our strategy call uh, calendar this week. I'm going to be giving away five strategy calls. So in order to book your strategy call with me, where we can talk about your niche, we can look at your service, your price, and definitely talk about your marketing message. Make sure you scroll into the description click on the strategy call booking link and we can jump on the phone together. I'm gonna to show you what you need to be doing in your business, especially moving into 2020 and beyond to take your business to the next level. So without further ado guys, let's dive into the content. I'm gonna show you how to create your killer marketing message and I'm gonna give you a few little tricks that'll really add some spice and some real heat to your marketing message, which is ultimately gonna to lead to a bigger and more profitable business to you. So guys, let's dive straight in. All right, so guys, what you can see in front of you is just a little example of what I mean by creating your killer marketing message. Now, the awesome thing about this, guys, is whether you're a coach, you're a hypnotherapist, you're an NLP, you're an RTT, you're a healer, you're a business owner, it really doesn't matter the context of where you use this marketing message. And I also want to point out what the marketing message really is. So there's always a lot of confusion. There's a lot of people putting massive hype behind a marketing message and giving it more props than what it needs. What is a marketing message? Well, let me give you my definition, guys. It's your marketing message, just what you're going to tell people what you do it is that simple. A lot of confusion uh, you know, starts to arise when people look at a marketing message as more than that. A marketing message is simply the niche that you help, pointing out the pain that they have and the situation that you can get them into by using your coaching skills, your business skills, your RTT skills, it, it, nothing more than that. Okay, so what this marketing message really does, it just encapsulates what you do into a simple, straightforward answer. So when someone asks you what you do, this is what you do. When you're presenting your business to people, they can see what you do. And you wanna be using this marketing message, you know, you wanna have this on your Facebook page, your LinkedIn banner, you have it on your YouTube banner, you wanna have it anywhere that you're using social media, which instantly tells people what you do. So now that we know what it is, let me point out where everybody gets this wrong. Now, I used to fall for this as well when I first started out as a hypnotherapist many, 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 many years ago, is I tried to develop a marketing message that was full of hype, it was full of bloat, it was full of like coaching, NLP, awesome hypnotherapy language, and all it tended to do was confuse the hell out of people. So what we teach all of our six-figure students and even our multiple six-figure students and even our students that are just starting in our 100K coaching program is to define the niche and just get straight to the point with your marketing message because like I said, your marketing message just encapsulates the niche, uh, the pain that that niche has, which obviously you're gonna help them with, and also the desired situation. And that's all the marketing message is. If you wanna call this your elevator speech, if you wanna call this whatever you want to, it is just simply this. Don't look at any more than this. It essentially is just gonna encapsulate what you do as a business owner, as a coach, as a therapist, and how you can help people. It's that simple. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of ways you can look at this and give you a really simple trick. Or oh, actually, I'm going to make it even better. I'm going to give you guys two simple tricks that you can do to create, to turn like a confusing uh, marketing message that has no sense, is not getting a lot of attention into somebody, something that's going to capture attention immediately and bypass any confusion about what you do. So the way that we uh, like to look at a marketing message is in this formula, and I call this your I help message, okay? So that's the lingo that we use, but again, it's just a marketing message. And we like to use it in the formula of, I help my niche, and the way that we encapsulate the niche is also talking about their current situation. So I help women who are smokers, I help men who have back pain, I help business owners who have uh, a struggling business, I'm pointing out the niche that I work with and also their current situation. And then all I'm doing is saying how I'm gonna take them to their desired situation, what that desired situation is going to be. And I've given us a couple of notes which I'm going to deep dive into a moment. 
So realistically, this is the most easy, plain and basic marketing message formula that you can create. In the next couple of slides just here on the left, I'll show you a couple of variations to this, but the main formula remains true. So let's look at this even more carefully. So I help. It's always a nice way to tell people what you do, who you help, and I think that's really gonna get people's attention because that's what people need. People need help, and that's what you're going to be doing. So the first thing we wanna do is I want to define your niche. Who do you help, okay? So the niche could be men, it could be women, it could be people, it could be business owners, it could be CEOs, it could be children, it could be teenagers, it could be the elderly, it could be, um, what else do we have? It could be coffee makers. It could be dog walkers, any niche. I just want to point out to people who I help. So when people look at my marketing message and what I do, it's either going to include them or not include them. Okay. And defining that niche is always going to be better than I help everybody because that's just becoming too broad. So as an example here, let me put this into context. It could be, so my example is I help coaches, RTT practitioners, hypnotherapists, and, and uh, NLP practitioners. Why can I get away with so many different sort of niches? Because they're all the same thing. Well, let's be honest. They're all the same thing. You're just helping people. So I'm calling out to a specific group of people, a specific cluster of people inside a specific market. Okay, that's the first point. Okay, so you want to clearly define this guy. So get a pen and paper and do this with me. So let's say I help women. Let's say that's the niche I'm going with. Let's give you another context. So I help women. So with these women that I want to help, what is their most painful problem? What is their current situation? For what a lot of people do here is they call out their niche and then talk about the positive situation. So I help women who have an abundant business or I help women who have just had their third child and are extremely proud. No. What we want to do here is firstly point out the pain because pain gets attention. So I wanna combine the niche and their current situation, which is pain. Because remember, it's gonna be very rare that you're gonna be working with clients that come to you saying, my life is absolutely awesome, I just want more awesomeness. You know, that's very rare. Most times clients are gonna to come to see you because they say, I have this problem in my life and I can't solve it. So I wanna point this out first, guys. So I help women, um, who are struggling to lose the baby weight. So that's their pain. I mean, that's just off the top of my head. That's not even a great example, but you see what I'm doing there, okay? So I help women who are struggling to lose the baby weight to now want to move into the desired situation, okay? And I'll talk about what I mean by tangible in a moment. So if I know these women are here in this current situation that's full of pain, where do they want to be? What's their future they're looking for? Where would they rather be? What do they want instead? Okay, so I help women who are struggling, uh, who are frustrated uh, because they can't lose the excess baby weight to what's their desired situation. Well, the desired situation could be to feel sexy in their skin again or to lose the baby weight and get their six pack abs back. So what is their desired situation? And guys, that is the marketing message. And I'll give you a couple more examples of how we can really spice things up, but that is the basic formula. So what I mean by tangible. So here's what a lot of coaches and therapists do, and I include myself in this, is we create a future that is either too vague or is not tangible enough. There is one thing about selling a coaching or a hypnotherapist or an RTT service is that the desired situation is or has to be tangible. Something that you know your clients are looking for, that when you paint the picture to them, when you sell your services and when you concentrate on selling this future, because remember, this is the only thing clients want. They want to move from here and into here. And this is what we're going to sell them, the desired situation. We want to make it extremely clear. For a lot of coaches and therapists, and I would say business owners in general, will say something like this. I help women who are frustrated because they can't lose stubborn baby weight to live the perfect life. Like, what the hell does that mean? What the hell does perfect life mean? This is just a vague metaphor. Okay, and the more vague this outcome is, the harder it's going to be to sell, especially when you're raising your prices. So what we want to do, guys, is avoid any coaching language, any of this fluffy high five language that gets people excited 
and it will get you excited because you're a coach and a therapist and you understand the metaphor, but your regular civilian client, your regular CEO, your regular business owner, your regular mother or father is not talking in terms of my life's potential, to step into my real life, to have abundance. They're not talking like this, okay? They're talking a real civilian language and we want to give them this desired outcome. So we want to make this as tangible as possible. And when I say tangible, guys, they don't just have to physically be able to hold it, okay? Because sometimes that's not the case. But it wants to, you have to be crystal clear. So when you finish working with your clients, your clients know without a shadow of a doubt that what they've paid for, they have got. If your client gets to the end of working with you and they're saying, well, I'm not really sure if I got what I paid for, and your response is, of course you have. you just got to trust You've just got to hope it'll come eventually. It'll sharpen your life in the perfect time. No, we want to make this a crystal clear outcome. So what could this be? Let me give you some more examples. And guys, obviously you just have to populate your own niche here and also the tangible situation or the solution. So I help women who are frustrated uh, because they cannot lose stubborn baby weight to feel sexy in their skin again and... Uh, get back to having hot sex with their husband. Again, guys, that's just off the top of my head. I don't know where my mind's going right now, but hopefully you see my point. What we want to avoid is this. I help people who have abundance blocks, most civilians, most more people have no idea what abundance blocks is to live, to step into their true purpose. I mean, let's be honest, guys. What the hell does that mean? You didn't even know what that meant until you're taught as being a coach or a therapist. So if you're trying to use this language on the regular civilian who has never been become a coach or been to one of these trainings before, you are going to miss them. Okay, you are going to lose them. And they're going to look at what you do and go, nope, that's not for me. Because I'm not looking for that. What I'm looking for is I'm a male who uh, is stuck in a dead end job to build my own online business painful, tangible. Okay. So guys, pain, point out the pain first. Don't put the positive here and the pain here. Pain goes here. Tangible end solution goes here. Let me give you another example. When I was a stop smoking therapist, this literally was what my marketing message was. And it was boring, but it was straight to the point. And what my observation is we're working with so many coaches and therapists in the thousands every year that the therapists and coaches that adapt their marketing message to be quite boring are always the ones that get clients because boring is usually straightforward. There's no fluff. There's no coaching high fives. There's none of this ridiculousness and bloating these messages with all these fancy metaphors and things. It's straight to the point. So my marketing message guys was I help lawyers who are struggling to quit smoking to finally quit smoking in their lunch break. Boring, straight to the point, but I pointed out my niche. I pointed out their pain, which was frustration that they couldn't quit. So lawyers couldn't quit smoking to quit smoking here. And I also used a time element, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. But even without that time element, I'm telling my lawyers what they need. And this was highly specific. Now, guys, don't copy this, okay? Unless you have gone to speak to lawyers and you know exactly what they want. There's obviously a lot of research that goes into this. You're going to miss them. But you see my point here, guys. So let's move on to the next part. So now we can add some time element to this. So what is the time element? Well, what this does is takes your marketing message to the next level. 95% of it is still the same from what we talked about just before, but now we can add some real spice to this. And this is how you guys can start to differentiate yourself in the market. For a lot of coaches and therapists, when they're treating clientele, they can't pinpoint how long it'll take for that client to have a transformation. And in some cases, you'll never be able to pinpoint a time. However, if you can, if you've noticed that all of your clients pretty much get their massive breakthrough within seeing you in two to four sessions, and you see that time after time after time after time, you definitely want to put this in your marketing message. Because now the way the mind works is adapts to time. It can read time. It looks at space and time okay, to regulate where it is in this reality, okay, and how far it is in this reality. We use a time element. So an example, like if I said to my friend, I'm going to meet you at the shops, I'm going to meet you at the shops, current situation, sorry, desired situation, you're here now, meet you at the shops at one o'clock, my friend knows when to meet me. 
But if I said, hey, I'll meet you at the shops, my friend's going to say, well, what time? Where? When? So by having this time element, okay, it becomes even more crystal clear. So let me give you an example. Let's put this in the context. I help uh, women who are, st who are struggling to lose the stubborn baby weight to finally feel sexy in their skin again in seven days. See how much more powerful that becomes in time? Now, guys, you don't want to lie. You know, I've seen some ridiculous lies in this industry where coaches and therapists will say, I can turn you into a six-figure coach within two weeks. Like, I've literally seen that message. That's ridiculous and it's never going to happen and people are going to call you out. Sure, you'll get some attention and you'll probably make a lot of sales. But after that two weeks is up and your clients are no better off than when they started, what's going to happen? Well, you can pretty much figure that out for yourself. Okay? So guys, if you have noticed, if you've been in this game for long enough and you notice that all your clients have their breakthrough within two hours or your coaching package is seven days long and that's exactly how much time your clients need to have this almighty breakthrough to get to this desired situation so they know without a shadow of a doubt that they have that, you want to put that time element in there. So guys, if you're following along and you're taking down notes, write out your marketing message and put a time element into it. Okay, so if you can put the time in, make sure you go ahead and do that. So here is another example. Okay, so we can lose the time element and we can have what I call the without statement. And this is just as cool as the time element. I really enjoy this one. So I help women who are struggling to lose stubborn baby weight to feel sexy in their skin again without giving up carbs. So there's one thing about human beings. People don't want to do something or don't want to go towards some sort of pleasure if it means giving up something that they really enjoy. People don't want to do hard things. People don't want to struggle. People don't want to give up comfort in order to get to their breakthrough. Now, yes, I know as therapists and coaches, we know that people have to give up those comfortable things in order to have their breakthrough, okay? But that'll be part of the process that you take them through once they're in the seat. But right now, what you're going to get the attention of people is by pointing out, hey, you can get to this desired situation and you won't even have to give up this thing that you love as well. You will add a lot of power and spice to this message. Okay, so let me give you a uh, another example. I help uh, struggling business owners, let's just change the context, struggling business owners who are making no money to build a six-figure business without funnels, Facebook ads, or networking. It's almost sort of like my marketing message now. So here's the thing. When people look at your marketing message that calls out the niche in their desired situation, they'll look at it and go, oh, it's probably just another person selling me funnels. It's another person selling me Facebook ads. It's another person telling me to go do networking. I hate those things. Why can't someone teach me how to do this without those things? That could be you guys. Okay? So you could also add guys at the end of this without a time element. So I help struggling business owners who are not making any money build a six-figure business without networking Facebook ads and funnels in the next 28 days, in the next 35 days, in the next six weeks, whatever the time element is. Now we can combine both of these extras, as you can see, in time and without, and it becomes even more powerful. Okay, so guys, write down your marketing message, try the without statement. And again, you're going to test these things. You're going to put these out into the industry. You're going to put them all over your Facebook, all over your LinkedIn, all over your Twitter, whatever social media you're using, and you're going to notice the responses. So we noticed a big move, a, sorry, a big shift in our business when I started to talk about the without stuff. So we help coaches, RTTs, NLPs, and hypnotherapists, you know, therapists in general, okay? And the reason I use all four titles is because NLP has got pissed off that I was calling everybody hypnotherapists, and hypnotherapists got pissed off because I was calling everyone coaches. So that's just what happened in my market. So unfortunately, I have to bloat my marketing message to call out everybody, even though they're exactly the same thing. I point out their current situation and I gave them the desired situation, but I started to talk about without, you know, building your business without funnels, Facebook ads, networking, giving away free sessions or free challenges. And that's what differentiated myself in the market. How did I get this without statement? It's because everybody kept telling me. The market kept telling me, Scott, 
what's different in your program? I've been told how to do funnels and ads and all this stuff and nothing works. And I say, well, that's great. We don't teach any of that. And they say, well, how are your students getting so many results without that? Well, let's jump on a phone call and I'll talk to you about it. Okay, you can see me transitioning with my marketing message there. This without statement is extremely powerful. So guys, try the basic version, then see if you can add a time element to it, be truthful here, or try the without statement, or try both. You can mix all of these things together. But you see the main elements remain the same. This has to be tangible. This has to be extremely fucking painful, and this has to be extremely tangible, crystal clear. Stepping into your life purpose means nothing. You know, connecting with the universe means nothing. Tangible, something somebody knows without a shadow of a doubt, either emotional or some sort of cash ROI, okay? So let's look at these. So what I went ahead and, had and did is I scoured Facebook and I found one, two, three, four, five. Uh, sorry, one, two, three, four marketing message that I saw on people's Facebook. So this is not a criticism if you're watching this, but this is, if you know, I've happened to find yours. This is just what I want to point out where a lot of people get confused here. So let's go one by one. So I help people create an abundant mindset to reach their full potential. That's literally, as I was making these slides, I thought, let's go see if I can find this in the real world. And I see this everywhere. This is pretty common. Now, how do I know this is not going to work? It's because if the way you read it, civilians aren't looking at this. They don't understand this abundant mindset, reach their full potential. Who understands it? Coaches, therapists, practitioners. So if you're not working with those specific people, why are you talking their language? Start to think about real civilian words, okay? Abundant mindset. Remember, this has to be the pain. The pain needs to happen at the start. Reach their full potential. That's not tangible. What does that mean? Full potential to what? What specifically? When? How? It is not tangible. So you can see the pain's in the wrong place. There actually is no pain. It's just pointing out the positive. Um, and you know, there's nothing tangible at the end. So we need to fix that right up. So another example that I found was I help people stop anxiety and stress to control their emotions. so They can get clarity on their life's purpose. There was a lot of this life purpose stuff going around and build their ideal business. Firstly, way too wordy. There's way too much going on here. Anytime that you have a marketing message that has, and this, and this, and this, I can tell what's going on. What's, what this person is trying to do is include everybody because they're scared of narrowing down. Even though they say, no, no, I found a niche, they're trying to include everybody in this niche. So anytime you've got and 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 someone has to take a deep breath just to read your entire marketing message, way too long. So let's look at this closer. So I help people stop anxiety and stress. Beautiful. Okay, I can obviously get a lot better than that, but the pain is here to control their emotions. That's the desired situation. So they can get clarity in their life's purpose. Now you've gone vague again and build their ideal business. So we have to look at this. This We're offering two end states. We've gone vague in the middle here. But yeah, we pointed out some pain, which is good. But now we've got to look at it as what has anxiety, stress, and control of the emotional life's purpose got to do with the ideal business? Is this really the case? Well, if this was someone making this message, you could almost tell that, hey, they haven't spoken to business owners. Because business owners aren't speaking like this. The way you get this language, guys, is speaking to your clientele, the people you want to help, and you want to use their language because you want to speak to them directly. Okay, so far too long. It's a bit jumbled, a lot better than this one, uh, but there's obviously elements we would change there. Here's another example that I saw. I use hypnosis to build your confidence in your subconscious mind. Again, this is somebody that's probably just been qualified loves hypnosis just like I do, loves coaching just like I do, but they're speaking as a coach. They're speaking as a hypnotherapist. So your regular civilian, unless you're working with these type of people, doesn't know what the subconscious mind is. But also as well, what I see a lot of is a lot of therapists and coaches are pointing out how they do things. Here's the bottom line, guys. Whether you're using RTT, using hypnotherapy, you're using coaching, using NLP, clients don't care how you get things done, okay? They don't care about that. All they care about is this end result thing, what they're looking for. How you do it is up to them. So trust me when I say you're not getting any points on your side by pointing out, hey, I use RTT by Marissa Pears, or I use NLP by Tad James, or I use conversational hypnosis by Igor Ledohovsky. 
People don't know who these people are, nor do they care. You and I care because we look up to these people. These are our gurus. These are the people that have, uh, you know, rejuvenated the entire industry. And we appreciate this. We respect this. But your average person doesn't know what this stuff is. So don't talk coaching language. So again, there's no pain here. Now we're talking about straight of how I use it. So I use. No, it's supposed to be I help. Need some sort of pain here and confidence in your subconscious mind. Why would the average person care about that? The average person going to go, well, what is a subconscious mind? Well, that's not me because I don't have one of those. That's what the normal person would, tell, would say unless they've been trained in this to know they do have one. So unless you're working with coaches and therapists to build their confidence, if it's the average person you're working with, which is more than likely the case, speak the average person's language. Lastly, I help women to stop procrastination and fear so they can find their soulmate without dating jerks. So this one was good. It's a couple of things we can change, but you see with the, with the without message, this was really cool. Okay, obviously, I'm not going to tell you who wrote this, but um, you know, I can't really remember anyway. But this was what was on Facebook, and this was really nice. This got my attention. I thought this was great. Because if there are women out there who do want to find their soulmate but are sick of dating jerks, are sick of going to bars, are sick of being used, they want to get to the soulmate without going through that pain again. So without the, without the dating jerks, whoever wrote this, if you're watching this, well done. This is great. So let's look at this even more closely. So I help women to stop procrastination. So that's the pain. We've got the niches, the women, stop procrastination. That's good. And fear, sort of going into another niche there. So they can find their soulmate without dating jerks. So this isn't bad. We could do some good tweaks of this to make this even more clear, but this is better. So niche, problem, that's their pain. Find their soulmate, that's the end situation and the without. So this is getting pretty close to perfect, but obviously we could spice this up by uh, getting even more narrow and realizing is procrastination the real problem? Is it really fear? Is it doubt that might be the real problem? So just with a couple of tweaks, it might take a couple of minutes, this would become a very powerful marketing message. So guys, that is the end of the video. Make sure you get your notepad and pen out. Go through your marketing message. Take out the bloat. Take out the coaching language. Make sure you've got the formulas in the right place. Pain at the start, tangible end solution. See if you can add a time element. If you know what your time element is or... I prefer the without statement. If you can get a client to the end result without having to do all the normal things that everybody's saying you have to do and they don't want to do it, you will now rise to the top because your marketing message is showing people that you can get them to this perfect desired situation, but without having to go through all the things you don't want to do or give up all the things that you love. You can still have your cake and eat it too, so to speak. So guys, that's all for me for now. My name is Scott Jansen. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below, what's your new marketing message? Are you going to add a time element? Are you going to have a without element? Let me know below. And if you need some help with your marketing message, make sure you ask for my help in the description. And I'm happy to talk it out with you over the comment box, uh, throughout the comments. And I'll show you that how you can really specify your niche, find the right pain, get a tangible end result and maybe add the time and the without element to add as well. So guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.